became the U.S. Figure Skating Champion when she received eight out of uh, nine uh, uh, perfect scores, making ice skating history. Please welcome Michelle Kwan. Good to see you again. You too. Congratulations on the big win. Now, no one's ever won this big, right? Um, I don't think so. Not since uh. beginning of skating, I think. Well, you're being modest, but no, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, no one has, right? I mean, describe the feeling now. I want to set the whole stage here. Well, after my long program, you know, I was so happy with my performance. I was just like, oh my God, I, I can't expect anymore. And then I got there and I saw the 6.0s and I was like, Oh my God, am I seeing this clear? Oh my God. And, you know, I just wanted to faint. My coach and I were like, okay, Frank, catch me. Catch me, please. Well, we have the tape here. Let's show, this, show the tape. Here we go. Take a look. Almost across the board. Like human nature, did you say to yourself, I, who gave me the 5.9? Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, a lot of friends ask me, you know, who was that 5.0? Who gave you that 5.9? I'm going to go tell them and tell them to give you a 6.0. And I was like, I don't know. I don't want to find out. <laughs> oh, so you, do you n normally not know or you just choose not to find out? I choose not to find out. Oh, that's interesting. Because I see the judges all the time and yeah, I don't want to yeah. be like, you gave me a 5.9. <laughs> And that's like one tenth. Of, yeah, it's... it doesn't really matter, but yeah. you know, it's how you skate. Right, right. Now, but you had a, a fracture, right? Not that far before. How, how far before this event was your leg fracture? Well, I had a stress fracture two weeks, um, two months before the competition. Um, I had a cast like up to here. I wasn't able to walk around or anything, and I was a little, a little worried. But a I little thought, worried. A little wor yeah. worried, <laughs> definitely. Now, what's the worst injury you've ever skated with? Would, would that be it? Yeah. Well, everybody says it's, you know, the toe right here, and everybody always calls it the famous toe. <laughs> <laughs> the famous toe that, you know, everybody talks about, oh, my God, she hurt her toe and toe and toe. And yeah. I mean, do you pamper your feet? I mean, do you have, like, do you have a... Ah, sit with them in ice or warm water or something. I mean, do you, I mean, is it because skates are? I mean, that's rough on your feet. Isn't it? Well, I must say that ballerinas and skaters have the worst, the ugliest feet of all time. I'm serious. Oh my God! I found that true. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> really? I mean, is that really? Is that true? Now, why is that? Because it's all. Well, because the boots. I mean, they're so hard. And yeah. it's like wearing a um, pair of new shoes every day. Right. And it kills your feet. And, you know, it may look glamorous, you know, with the tights and, you know, the nice white boot. Sure. And, you know, but it's not. Inside stuff with, like, cushion pads and, you know, things, bunions and... <laughs> Never mind. You know, Never you mind. Know, between you and Kate, you've ruined all my fantasies. <laughs> so let me ask you about... <laughs> Go, oh, look, honey, actually, her feet are full of bunions. When we're watching you, I'll be saying to my wife, no, those are all bunion feet. Now, now you and, and Tara uh, Lipinski, of course, are, are huge rivals. Now, I, I guess she fell. Did, did you see that? I mean, does that psych you? No, I mean, um, I went to the rink. I skated at the end, um, and, you know, Tara already skated, and right. I didn't really pay attention to anything. And I just went, okay, I got to skate. That's it. Do you try not to watch the other competitors? Does it throw you off? Or? I think it throws you off because whatever happens to them, happens to them. And it right. doesn't bother, you know, you just right. got to mind your own business, have tunnel vision and focus. Right, right, right. Yeah. So now you're off to the Olympics in Japan. This is your first time, right? Well, I was the alternate in 94. You know, I was thrown into, you know, the Nancy and Tanya thing. And oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's I right. was the alternate. So I was just um, standing, you know, as an audience, just watching skating. Yeah, so that leg fracture could have been worse. <laughs> so when did you... Now, I would assume this has always been your dream to do this, right? I mean, did you think you'd like to one day do it, or was it not, was it not even in your consciousness? Or, or as a small child, did you always think, oh, yeah, I... I think when it really hit me that I wanted to go to the Olympics was when I watched Brian Rotano uh, win the gold medal. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the Olympics. 
I'm going to go to the Olympics. And I didn't think, you know, that you'd have to go to nationals and work hard. You know, I thought, okay, I'm going to Olympics. That's, I'm going to Olympics. You, you just, if you just go, yeah, you'll be exactly. able to go there. Just go. <laughs> now, okay, here it is like a month before. I mean, you get paranoid. You worry about, I don't know, catching a cold or falling down the stairs. I mean, or do you just kind of go through life? <laughs> no, no, but I mean, no, no, seriously. No, I'm, I'm, I think it's, um, I get very paranoid. Yeah. You know, if someone's coughing or something, I'm like, don't, don't. You know, it's like I worry. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's... You'll hear him, I'm sorry. <laughs> do, you, do you have any good luck charms? Are you superstitious like that? Um, I've got a good luck charm around my neck that I always wear, oh, okay. given by my grandma. Oh, a long time ago. Is that is that a Chinese symbol? Yeah, dragon. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. neat. Oh, that's gay. I have a lot of superstitions. Yeah. You know, like I have to tie my left skate on before my right, and things like that. No, why? No, what happens if you do it the other way around? I don't know. Oh, I, I've never, never done it. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. You're going to be like one of those crazy cat ladies when you're old. Yeah. <laughs> now, what are you doing in your spare time? Have you seen Titanic? Oh, it was awesome. I, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> now, you're, you're 17 now, right? You're 17, so you can't, you can't see Boogie Nights, but you know. <laughs> now, did you, are, are you a Leonardo fan? You're like, definitely. You like Leonardo? Thumbs up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kind of a crush, maybe, would you say? Or just no, no. <laughs> Suppose he, he asked you out. Would, would, you go, would, would you go out with him if he asked you out? <laughs> no, I'm not working on a day. Uh, uh, stupid question. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'd go out with him. Well, okay, here you go. <laughs> Michelle, good luck. God bless yeah. you. Be right back right after this. Michelle Kwan.